Shalom, Israel, Most High Christ Bless. We're here at Master Cuts Barbershop to do a barbershop presentation. We we'll do around the 28. Lord well, will, so my people wake up. Um, I'm Officer Zephaniah to my right. Soldier Zuriel to my left. Soldier Kadash. All right, Shalom, Israel, Most High Christ Bless. This is the book of John, chapter 8 and verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So Jesus Christ said out of his own mouth, you're going to know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Ever since the 1400s, our people have been lied to. We, we got power now, we got enslaved, they changed our nationality, they changed our language. Ever since we got those slave ships, we have been, we have been a different nationality. We was niggas when we got off, then we became uh, colored, Negro, black, Afro-American, African-American. Afro, that's a hairstyle. How can, your hair, how can a hairstyle be a nationality? It's a reason why they changed Hispanic, Mexican. We got all these by words for our people, Puerto Rican. But God said, you're going to know the truth. Because I, I can see why we have misconceptions of the people because Sunday church, they don't teach the Bible as they do. The Sunday church, even though it might be black faces in the church, the people that talk to people in the church are the same people that enslaved our ancestors. Briefly. The book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Thy law is the truth. God said his law or his Bible is the truth. Deuteronomy 28. So we can go in the Bible you know, without a shadow of a doubt, casting out any, any doubts you ever had about the Bible, that the, the men, the women of this Bible, they all look like you. Dark-skinned people, woolly hair. Like the historians or the scholars that say Negro and features. Because what does the Bible say Jesus Christ looked like? Standard bronze, shape of wool. Okay, so, so you, you knew that off the hand. Where that, where that white image of Christ come from? The white man, the one that gave us the Bible. It, it, but, but the Bible. So how did he give us the Bible if the Bible say Christ black, but they gave us a white image? And why I told you, we couldn't read and we couldn't write. So in the Renaissance era, when the Roman Catholic Church was set up, they made a Renaissance image of Jesus. Oh, okay, give me Revelation 11. Watch this, but the Bible already prophesied that would happen. Revelation 11. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 11 and verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. That's referring to America. God said our bodies don't lay in the streets. Our bodies don't lay in the streets of the, uh, the spiritual Read that again. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. So Sodom and Gomorrah, it was a place in the Bible that pushed homosexuality. Don't they push homosexuality in America? Non-binary, transgender, homosexual. God said this place is spiritually Sodom. And what else? And Egypt. And Egypt. In Egypt, all 12 tribes of Israel was there in captivity. That's why these pyramids in Mexico, in Central America, with the same um, with the same measurements as the pyramids in Egypt. Why? Because the same people that was in Egypt building the pyramids back then, they came to the Americas. Not only do the Bible prove that we the children of Israel, but just archaeology, historical. If you, if you travel, if you researched it, you, without a shadow of a doubt, you'll know the so-called blacks and Spanish Native Americans with the 12, 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Can you read? Where also our Lord was crucified. So God said this place is Sodom and Egypt spiritually, and he said Christ was crucified. Was, was Jesus Christ crucified in America? Because I said this is referring to America. Was Jesus Christ crucified in America? Physically he wasn't. It happened in Jerusalem when you read the Bible. But what happened in America? They changed the message of God. They changed his image. That's why, like you said, I know in the Bible it says Christ got woolly hair like black people, his skin bronze like ours. But in Christianity, they forced a white image on us. That, that's what happened. If you look at, if you look at this right here, this one, of, this is the uh, Inca King Montezuma. You see, they the Jesuit priests and the conquistadors, they finna burn him alive. They got the Christian cross in his place. Mm -hmm. That's that's how they crucify Christ, because they forced their doctrine on us. And if we didn't, and if we didn't serve, and if we didn't serve um, white Jesus and the doctrine that they were pushing, they would kill us. So that's why the Bible said Christ 
image was Christ was crucified here because his image was crucified here. He was changed from black to white, and the doctrine that he taught in the Bible was changed from what the Bible really says. Go to Deuteronomy 28. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28 and verse 15. So that's why you go to Memphis, Tennessee, Dallas, Texas, uh, Oakland, California, Los Angeles, California, Brooklyn, New York. Every hood, every ghetto, every barrio, you're going to see blacks and Hispanics. Because this Bible pertains to us and only us. It's not for the white man. It's not for the Chinese man. It's not for the Arab man. So you don't feel like that was a placement? Hmm? You don't feel like that was a placement? What? Uh, being out in all of these areas. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're going to read it right in the Bible. Redlining, all that stuff, it's not by chance. God prophesied that it would happen. That's why it is the way it is. Read, read it. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments. So God said if we didn't do all his commandments. And his statute, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee, and overtake thee. So if it is a curse, good or bad? So if it's overtaken, then it's bad. So everybody y'all agree, curse is bad, bad stuff. So God's saying bad stuff gonna happen to the children of Israel in the, in the in the earth. Go back one chapter, 27 and 9. Let's prove it's talking to the Israelites and only the Israelites. Because some of this stuff we might read, you might say that pertains to this group of people, this group of people. God said this stuff will only happen to the Israelites. Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 27 and verse 9. Come on. And Moses and the priests, the Levites, spake unto all Israel. They, they talked to who? All Israel. So they was talking to all the Israelites. Go to 28 and uh, 16. Let's see what God, let's see what bad things God said what happened to the children of Israel on earth. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. And cursed shall thou be in the field. So that's why, like I was saying, the ghetto, any ghetto you go to, America, Europe, Africa, China, North, Central, South America, who was in the ghetto? Who was cursed in the city? Who got who got poverty, prostitution, drug dealing, all the nigga music? The so-called blessing of Spanish. God said, it is about to be cursed in the city. Read that again. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. Cursed in the field. Who picked cotton, tobacco, sugarcane, strawberries, oranges for free? Who did that? Slaves. Slaves. Blacks and Hispanics. The blacks was, the blacks was enslaved. The Hispanics colonized on their own land. I mentioned it. Jump down to verse 30. Blacks also own slaves. Uh, everybody. With your skin tone is not your people. When we say blacks, we talking about the American blacks. Some of the tribes in some of the tribes in Africa, the, uh, the, the um, Jamaicans, the Haitians, they were children of God. But it's it's a difference because in Africa it's a lot of dark skinned people. But the Ethiopians, the Egyptians, they not our people. They enslaved us. They they sold us to the white man. That's in the Bible. So how, how did the black man get to America? Because we was ruling. I know y'all heard of the wars before. We, we, we rule Europe. King James was a black king in Scotland. We had many prominent uh, so-called black figures throughout the earth. How did we how did we get to America? Some of us were right? Yeah, some of us are here. That's why that's why I, that book I showed y'all it said the Aborigines are the original people of the Western Hemisphere. So slaves. So yeah, so so the, but the so-called black man came on slave ship. Is that documented in the Bible? He said it's not documented. Anybody else? Y'all know y'all know black people born into slavery is documented in the Bible? Let's see. I say the, the what we bringing out is black and Hispanic history is in the Bible. This the, the colonization, the conquistadors, the sla enslavement of the blacks, it's all in the Bible. That's what we're gonna go into. Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Come on. And the Lord shall bring thee. Into Egypt again. So God said He would bring us into Egypt again. Anybody know what was going on in Deuteronomy? In the Bible? What was happening in Deuteronomy? Somebody help me out. Huh? So so in Deuteronomy, you you ever heard of Moses? Moses 
in Exodus, Moses led the children of Israel out of his, um, Egypt. Yeah, the plagues happened, but how they get out? Like, did they did they um, charter a plane? Did they jump on a bus, bus or a boat? They walked out of Egypt. They walked. So, so, so hold that, give me that in Exodus. So you said the brother is 100% right. He said they walked out of Egypt. Yes, the children of Israel walked out of Egypt during the book of Exodus. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. Come on. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. I call Egypt the house of bondage. No bad. So God is telling us right here in Deuteronomy 26 that Egypt is the house of bondage, a place of slavery. And we in bondage in America today. This is a place of bondage. Yeah, we in bondage. Slavery, captivity. I know the Chinese came off in 1863 with the Emancipation Proclamation physically, so we ain't chained up like these brothers no more. But the chains on our mind now. So do you believe that slavery is not a color now? I mean, it, it, was, it was never about color, it was about the bloodline. The blood that runs through this brother vein, like your vein, this brother vein, these brothers right here, they know our blood is the blood of the, the nation of Israel. So it ain't necessarily about color, it's about your blood, huh? Who you are. Read that. Deuteronomy 28. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So God with said ship. he will bring us into captivity or the house of bondage again. How? With ship. With ship. With ship. Cargo slave ship. So historically, who went into slavery on slave ships? Read that again. Deuteronomy 28, 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Into the house of bondage, into slavery, captivity again. How? With ship. With ship. Cargo slave ship. This happened to the blacks and the Hispanics. I stated, when Christopher Columbus came over here to the Americas, the first thing he did was take slaves back to Spain. It's documented. All you got to do is research. They took slaves back the same. So when they conquered the blacks in Spain, in Portugal, in Africa, they loaded us up on ships and brought us to America. That's Bible prophecy. God said the children of Israel, bad things were happening. to them. One of those bad things, they were going to slavery on slave ships. Three. By the way, world, I spake unto thee, Come on. thou shalt see it no more again. God said our homeland, we wouldn't see it again. Because black people, if you ask, you'd be like, where are black people from? Only thing we can say is Africa. That's a whole continent. We're, 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 we're about in the continent. People that come from Africa, they ain't going to say I'm from Africa. They're going to say I'm from Nigeria, or Ethiopia, or, or South Africa. They're going to give you a specific location. For black people in America, we claim the whole continent because we don't know because we was enslaved on slave ships. And listen to this before you leave. So you can hear it out of God's mouth. Not, not out of mind, read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 7 and verse 6. Come on. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Sir, you know what it means to be holy? Yeah. Well, what holy mean? Like the definition. What does it mean to be yeah. holy? It means to walk as the as the uh, Creator wants you to walk and to serve Him as one and not serve man to serve Him. Hey, I, I, I like that. I can dig that. How would you make it plain? How would you explain holy to our little sister right here? Holy? Make it, yeah, make it plain so a child can understand. You, the way you would make it plain when it comes to a child is this, is to live the way the most power wants you to live. Right, and that, and that will be separate. That's to make it easy, a hey, separate. I, I, what I try to get people to understand when it comes to the Old Testament, especially with the Gentile preachers, right? Yes, sir. Even our own people who are Gentile have learned from the Gentiles, so they teach the Gentile way. Right. You know what they I'm do. saying? Exactly. They will take verses out of that Old Testament and put it into the New Testament, saying that, well, the most high, well, the Jesus that they talk about. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Well, Jesus say, well, uh, he's talking. Well, he's not talking to everybody. Right. That book right there, he talks to his own people. He is, he, everything that he says, he's talking to his people. We're going to prove what you said to the Bible. Christ going to say exactly what you've been saying. Read that. But guys, I got to go. Yes, sir. Understood. Hey, who killed me? All right. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, and verse 24. Come on. But he answered and said, I am not sent 
but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So God said he only came for the Israelites. The Father, the Most High God, go back to um, Deuteronomy. God did send Christ to save all people. He said, I am not sent but or only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Who are those lost sheep? The Mexicans, the people in Argentina and Chile, the people in Colombia, the Seminole Indians, the American Indians, the people in Guatemala, Panama, the Dominicans, the Cubans, the Puerto Ricans, the Haitians, the West Indians, and the Blacks. They are the lost sheep of the house of Israel because they call themselves something outside of that Israel. That's what Christ said. That's what Christ was saying for. Lost sheep of the house of Israel. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Come on. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. So God said we got to walk separate from everybody else on the earth. Free. For the Lord thy God has chosen thee. And we chose him to, by God. Free. To be a special people. I, hey, I know, I know y'all might not hear this often, but God said y'all special to him. Everybody in this room, black and Spanish, God said y'all special to him. Free. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. To be a special people unto himself. Come on. Above all people. No, nah, equal to. Above all people. No, nah, everybody is saying. Above all people. Where? That are upon the face of the earth. So God said the children of Israel are above everybody else on the earth. God said you ain't equal to nobody else, little sister. Brother God says you're not equal to nobody else. He said you're above everybody else. But we gotta learn how to walk above. And that's the keeping of God's command. Shalom, Israel. Most honor Christ blessed. The presentation went well. The word of God came out strong. The Lord will some of our people repent. We had some people that thought the Bible was not accurate or had some fallacies in it. But the word of God came out strong. And I think all questions were answered. What do you say, Sam? Definitely. I think uh, Northern Kingdom and Southern Kingdom got edified and we had good interaction with both, both kingdoms. So it was a good, good victory. Praise the Lord. So, Lord, Lord's will, some of our people repent. Oh, you got anything, something? Word never goes out void. That's right. That is real. We say shalom. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation 